Okay, I think we're all set. Um, this is a video tutorial on how to add a um, how to add a custom game case with your printer. Um, this is very easy. If you don't have like the original game case, like Fallout 3, I want to tell you how to print these. Uh, how to add a fake cover for your case. I've lost the cover for the original Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition case, and I lost the DLC game as well, because someone stole it a long time ago. So, since we're going to go on Google, Google is your friend, Google is life, and na na na, let's, um, let's search up Fallout 3, Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition case, okay? Case cover, case cover. Cover. And then you go search for images, which is simple here and there. Uh, make sure you have the legitimate picture, and I know what it looked like. Just this is actually the real copy of it. Or sometimes I'll have a game went alive. If you have it for 360, you copy this image. Um, you save image add or something. I don't know if you could. You save image as, and then you add in the cover. Like, I have my case labels because I lost some of my cases. So, this is what you have to do. You need a pair of scissors of some sort to cut the scissors from the case. Okay, this is very simple. I'm going to print it out with my printer over here. I'm not going to use the green screen because the green screen activated. I've got refillable ink cartridges, and I don't want to waste my ink. So once you got that thing down, you go to your pictures or wherever you save it from. You select your, um, let's see, there's called, I, I saved it in case pictures, case labels. And then you print out, you go to print. Okay, here's the important step. Do not fit picture to frame. Deselect that. And you just select your letter from 8.5 to 11 inches. You select that one. Select your printer, you select photo or text and image, make sure you have it in color. Um, you can have it in black and white if you want, if you don't have a color printer. And you just click plain picture and full size image. And this will actually print out the whole thing for this case because this is actually 11 inches but cut off. Okay, now let's print this off but I have to warm up my printer. If you have inkjet, it doesn't matter. Um, or laser jet, you can still print it out by for using inkjet because they're cheaper on ink if you have a refillable cartridge. I just got my ink in today, so this is a video tutorial. Now, when you print it out, oh cool, it's already printing. Let me go into my uh, monitor mode or screen webcam. Okay, um, you might see a cut, but I'm gonna show you what I'm printing. So since you'll be printing all that thing, let me change my settings from the webcam. Don't use chroma keys. So I'm printing out that ink. And it's still printing through the paper. Just waiting to be all printed out. Hope I printed out the right page. I'll be mad. So you see paper will be coming out soon. This does cost you ink. So just depend. Ink is very expensive. This does take a while. So <laughs> I'm just looking at the stupid ink cartridges. Now it's going to be all printed soon. Let's see. Waiting. Printing. Printing. Okay, now since you got this printed out, just let it dry for a moment because it is soggy. And then you probably see what I had there that's refillable ink. Um, okay, you see this may be fake. Okay, and what you do later is you cut it with scissors. Let me cut it with, and I'll show you that it's the right size. Just be careful with the Xbox 360 logo where you don't cut straight unless you have a better, like a ruler or so, so you don't cut overlaps or something. Sometimes you might have that issue. Then you cut these corners as well. Also cut this side. I'm just going to speed it up anyway, so I'll be back when I speed up things. Now, I actually miscut, just make sure you cut it plain. And what you can also do if you're very smart, there's no barcode on this, you can paste your own barcode. 
we can probably send their guys a virus, but it'd be illegal, so there's gotta be no barcode on this freaking case. Since this is a copy of a case, not the real copy. I think I got the uh, European version, so I don't care if it's European. So, <laughs> uh, trying to fix this cut. Okay, now you got this little logo thing, which is probably a poor quality picture since they didn't print well. Now, since you have your Fallout 3 game, you place it, slit it under the plastic. It's this simple. I'll show you what I'm going to mean. I got the right image. Okay, now you got this all set up. I did not cut anything. I'm just trying to slide it in there. Just be careful when doing so. You don't tear off the plastic off the thing. Just make sure you have it all aligned. Oh, that's some poor quality photo. Let me try to boost it up a bit. Okay. Now you got your uh, picture printed with the UK version. That's how you print out a, um... A case cover if you lost your case, or if you bought cases, they don't have a case cover, or for your GameStop cases, you can just print out one of these as well. I'm just gonna go back and say like, comment, subscribe for more videos. This is how I would do it. Okay, see you later, and bye.